Hey guys, I'm Matt, author of the book Not Alone. Welcome to my first blog post. Um, I had the choice of writing this blog post, or I had the, I had the choice between writing this blog post or um, I guess doing a video blog, and I think video blog went out. Um, I've spent the last um, few months writing quite extensively. Um, so I thought that I might take a break and do a bit of a video blog um, to number one, connect um, with you guys. Um, and also just, I, I, I kind of, I, I'm, I'm too grateful um, to, to write down my thank yous. I wanted to, to, I guess, say these right to the camera in the hope that the person who's receiving this thank you um, it feels it on the other end. Uh, so a few, a few thank yous as I mentioned. Um, the first person that I want to thank, um, the first two people I guess that I want to thank are my grandparents Norma and Ralph. Um, we lost Norma in 1995 and we lost Ralph in 2001, um, both for cancer. Um, for those of you that perhaps have read the book or know a little bit about the book and my story, I grew up with Norma and Ralph um, when I was young. Um, from, I guess the day I was born right through till I was about six. Um, with both of my parents working, I guess they were my kind of daycare, essentially. Um, you know, even though that some of you may be going, you know, why is he thanking his grandparents? You know, they passed away so long ago. Um, I'm thanking them because I guess I feel them with me every day and I feel as though their presence is with me every day and um, their influence on me at such a young age has really given me the strength and determination to do everything that I want to do and anything that I want to do. Um, you know, I guess knowing that knowing that I've done something that I guess would make them proud or knowing something, knowing that they uh, are somewhere, um, you know, watching, watching this unfold, I guess, really gives me um, comfort and I know that um, that they would be extremely supportive of everything that I did. Just like my mum and dad, who I also want to thank, um, you know, coming out to mum and dad was not easy, um, you know, so some, some teenagers when they come out they have a really great experience and their parents just kind of go, cool. Um, but there are some teenagers who really do have a turbulent time coming out. Um, it was quite turbulent to start off with, um, to say the least. But mum and dad really, I guess, dealt with it and took me under their wing and really have been so incredibly supportive since then. Even so that when I told them that I was writing the book, um, or I wanted to write a book about two, three years ago, they kind of went, oh, you know, what's it about? And I guess when I said that it was about um, LGBTQ teenage bullying, um, they were kind of a little bit, okay, cool, this will be an interesting read. Um, but I guess when I gave them a couple of the chapters to read themselves, um, they kind of really got what it was about. And even then, even though that there were parts of this book that really do share fam our family stories, stories that don't usually go out of the family, of the, of the four walls of a family home, they were still supportive and they knew that this was something that I wanted to do. And, um, you know, it was so incredibly supportive as they always are and always have been. The next person I want to thank is um, is Eric, my editor. Um, Eric is an extremely talented and extremely gifted and professional writer and also an also editor. Um, when I originally spoke to Eric, and I guess one of the things that I was scared of happening during the editing process of this book, because I'm sure most people are when their book is edited, that I didn't want, I guess, the the, the rawness of the story to, to be, I guess, smoothed over. It was really important to me that whoever edited this book was very sensitive to every word within it and really made sure that the book was what it was, had the same message and had, I guess, the same vibe as what it did when I wrote it. Um, and Eric was really sensitive to everything and was just so incredible throughout the editing process and was just back and forth and, you know, your Eric, your timeless, I guess, devotion to, to this story and, and um, you know, really supporting me and being so involved in this process is appreciated beyond words. You know, you are an extremely treasured friend and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, to Charlie and Mark, um, one of the reasons why I wanted other people to contribute their story to Not Alone was because I didn't want people to think that I believed that everyone's story is like mine. Um, I didn't want Not Alone to be a, I guess a soft story, feel sorry for me kind of book. Um, the whole message of the story was that it does get better and that it will get better. You know, if you, to quote, I guess, the end of Mark's chapter, 
if you just accept yourself and, and love yourself and just be yourself, then everything else will just fall into place. And um, thank you. It's one. It's one thing for your friend, for your best friend, to say, "I'm writing a book." It's another thing for your best friend to say, "I'm writing a book." We contribute your story. And although Mark and Charlie, there are some elements of their story that they're still dealing with. Um, you know, to be so incredibly brave and so incredibly inspiring and, and give me and share your story, um, I guess, with everyone, um, you know, I appreciate it beyond words. So thank you, thank you, thank you both so much. Um, to my friends and family, I don't have to name every one of you because you know exactly who you are. Thank you for your ongoing support. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for every word of encouragement, words of wisdom, every one of you that's received a certain sort of snippet of a chapter or, or an entire chapter or some of you even the whole book and I've asked you to sort of read it and review it in a matter of hours. Um, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. Guys, I'm really excited to let you know, um, and I think I put this in my last my last post, um, but um, since my last post, and I guess just before the website went live and before the book was released, um, I received confirmation that the Gay and Lesbian Counselling Service of New South Wales and also 2010.org um, had accepted my proposal to receive part profits of the book, not alone. Um, for those of you that may not know, the Gay and Lesbian Counselling Service of New South Wales and also 2010 um, are two fantastic organisations that are based here in Sydney um, who work with LGBTQ teenagers and adults um, in the referral development of support groups and ongoing counselling of those that are struggling with themselves and, 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 and need support and ongoing assistance. Their work is extremely inspiring and any which way that I can help them um, you know, support and continue their work, um, you know, that's it. I'm so happy that they've, they've come on board. Um, you know, some of you may may have purchased the book, some of you may, may have not purchased the book, some of you may want to contribute to the Gay and Lesbian Counseling Service of New South Wales um, or 2010. Um, and for those of you that do, um, you can find the details on littleone.com.au. Um, and finally, a very big thank you to each and every one of you. Um, anyone that's sent me a message on Twitter, sent me a message on Facebook, um, or emailed me through the website, which you can do, um, thank you. The words of support and words of encouragement are appreciated beyond words. I guess I was really kind of scared before releasing Not Alone. Um, there, were, there was a little part of me that was worried about doing it, and there was a part of me that I guess was scared to release the book because it is such a personal story. Um, but every single person that's 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 read the book or, or looked at the website and submitted their story or sent in a word of encouragement or just a thank you letter. You know, I've received thank you letters from kids all over the world, um, and it means so much. Um, you know, I was happy when the first copy sold, and I was happy with that because it meant that I touched one person or, or maybe helped in some respect, you know, help one teenager um, know that they're not alone and, and know that there is someone out there that is thinking of, of them and is supporting them um, is something that I guess I didn't really expect. You know, the first time I got an email saying that someone had bought a copy of the book, which happened a couple of minutes after I actually launched it before it went live. Um, I was really excited, but then it's just been a snowball effect, I guess, from there. And there's been so many copies of the book sold, and, and so many copies of the book that have been purchased by people around the world, not just in Australia. Um, you know, it's just, it's incredible. I'm um, very touched at the words of support, I'm very touched at the, at the emails that I've received. Um, together, we will make a difference. Together, we will end bullying. And to those of you that feel as though you're not alone, that you are alone, don't let yourselves be defined through the mouths of other people. Believe in yourself, believe in those around you and surround yourself with love. Speak to yourself with kindness and speak to yourself with love um, because it will get better. It will get better. That I promise you. Until next time, stay safe, take care of yourself,